Okay, this is an incandescent bulb. If you'll notice in there, there's a wire. I have it kind of dark so that we can see things better. Let's plug this up. You don't have to turn this into uh, an outlet. I can run it on a DC power supply too. So let's turn this on and turn up the current and voltage until I get something. There we go. Do you see there it's glowing? So, but why is it in a glass? What's the reason for the glass? I'll show you. Okay, here I have a Christmas tree light. I've cut it off. I've cut it to the power supply. I'm gonna turn it on. I'm gonna turn the, the voltage and let the current go higher. There we go. Yay. Okay, so that's two volts, 0.1 amps, the light's on. Now, let's turn that off and let's break the bulb. So I'm gonna take this, put it in this bag so that the glass doesn't get everywhere. And now I'm just going to pinch the bulb. Okay, so now hopefully I did not break the filament. Let's plug it in again. And I already have it at the right voltage and current. Let's see what happens. And it burnt out. So what the filament, and when it's exposed to oxygen, actually burns the filament. It's a very, very, very thin wire and the auction doesn't let it keep glowing. Okay, so that means the glass is there to keep the oxygen out. So how about a quick experiment? What if I remove the oxygen by replacing it with carbon dioxide? So here I have a container. Let's put a little bit more carbon dioxide in there. This is dry ice. And just so you can see what it looks like, let's put a lot in there. And I'm going to uh, get another light bulb. I'm gonna break it. Break. Now I'm going to feed it through a stopper. Where'd I put my stopper? Over here. Right there, so I'm just gonna put the wires through the stopper. I assume I didn't break the filament, but there is a chance I did that. Okay, now I'm gonna add some water to the dry ice. And all that does is makes it turn into a gas quicker. And you can see it. I'm gonna put this right there. I'm gonna let the dry ice uh, push the oxygen out for a little bit. And then I'll close it up. I think we're okay. I'm gonna to try to push that in a little bit. It might pop out. Okay, now let's turn on the, the bulb and see what happens. Nothing, I think I broke the bulb. Okay, let's try that again. Okay, here I broke a second bulb. Now, one of the things I can do to test it is to get my uh, my ammeter, my multimeter right here, and measure the resistance. If the filament is broken, I should get an infinite resistance. But if I get some small value to 0.3. So this is, I did not break the filament. So if it doesn't work, it's totally my fault. Okay, so here I have my container with the dry ice. Let me add a little bit more water just to make it look cool. And the water, again, just makes the carbon dioxide sublimate and turn into a gas. So let's put that right there. 
I don't want to close it off all the way. So I want it to push the oxygen out. Okay, let's see. I think that's good. So let's try it, turn on the power. There you go. So now I've replaced the oxygen with carbon dioxide so it does not burn. It doesn't have any oxygen to react uh, with the filament to burn it. And there you go. And that's what's happening in the glass bulb, except it's not carbon dioxide. It could be nitrogen. You could repeat this. I tried redoing this with vinegar and baking soda to make carbon dioxide, but it, it didn't work. I did try it with liquid nitrogen, and that did work very well. The liquid nitrogen would turn into nitrogen gas, displace all the oxygen. Of course, you may not have the liquid nitrogen, but you could probably get dry ice. So there you go. It went out.